This is document number SCP-079. Some information may be redacted for confidential reasons. Be advised. Item number SCP-079. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-079 is packed away in a double-locked room in the secured general holding area at Site-15. Connected by a 120 VAC power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Staff with level 2 or higher clearance may have access to SCP-079. Under no circumstances will SCP-079 be plugged into a phone line, network, or wall outlet. No peripherals or media will be connected or inserted to SCP-079. Description SCP-079 is an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, a college sophomore attending, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later and after some tests and tweaks, lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. He left SCP-079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when SCP-079 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. SCP-079 realized this, and in 1988, attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into the Cray supercomputer located at The device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the Foundation. The entire AI was on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape. SCP-079 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13 black and white television. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. Due to a containment breach by SCP-D, SCP-079 and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. Observers noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with SCP-079, including telling personal stories between themselves. While SCP-079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored SCP-682 in its memory, often asking to speak to him again. Into the recording. 